The last Miranda Park party of the summer was one of the largest to date. Thousands from the Battle Creek community filled Northwestern Middle School for a day of free fun and plenty of sunshine. Bike paths have been added to the roads of downtown Grand Rapids. We'll talk to safety officials about the addition after this. West Michigan students are learning the skills that turn bright ideas into a successful business. We were invited behind the scenes of the Parade of Ships and toured the Coast Guard Cutter Mackinac from top to lower deck. You and your family can take the same tour this week in Grand Haven before the festival ends. A fatal car crash killing two people occurred early this morning on I-94. Police in Kalamazoo County are investigating the accident that happened westbound near exit 85. There are long backups in the area as crews continue to clear the scene. Every child has the opportunity to play with the new All Abilities Playground at the Baseball Field of Dreams. With the help of Art Band Furniture, the West Michigan Miracle League built a handicap accessible playground, including ramps and flat ground cover. Two separate accidents leave two West Michigan brothers paralyzed. Adam Chafee of Kalamazoo suffered a spinal injury on Saturday after he was pushed into shallow water on Cory Lake and Three Rivers. Most of us own one of these, but do you know if yours is safe? A recall that you need to know about coming up after the break. Caution rises as maintenance workers discover credit card skimmers inside of a pump at a Grand Rapids gas station. Tips on how to protect yourself against these skimmers are coming up after the break. In Grand Rapids, Alicia Alonso, 24-Hour News 8. A year ago today, over 300 same-sex couples were able to get married. On their one-year anniversary, we reflect on what has changed. Congratulations to the minister from last year and again to the couples. Kudos. Thank you. Quick decisions and unexpected excitement brought Bethany and Mary Wynn to Muskegon County on March 22nd. And all of a sudden found out that we had the opportunity to get a legal marriage license. So, I mean, it was exhilarating and it felt very surreal. One year after their nuptials, Bethany and Mary told us a lot has changed for them during their first year of marriage. Bethany was able to legally take her wife's last name, and Mary's job awarded her family with health care and insurance benefits. That was a big change and very welcomed. Last year, Michigan County Courts issued marriage licenses to same-sex couples for almost 10 hours before legislation issued a stay. Now newlyweds wait with the nation to see if the U.S. Supreme Court will recognize their marriages, a question that will be answered this June. Despite the setbacks, many couples are hopeful for the high court's decision. I don't know, I, I just kind of feel like the zeitgeist is that it's, it's over. I mean, this is inevitable. Marriage equality is, is, will come nationwide. In Muskegon, Alicia Alonso, 24-Hour News 8.